Hello my pinkies and welcome back to another plan with me video. So this video we are planning for the month of March. So this is the planner that I have been using since um, January obviously. So here we are the month of March 2018. We will be using our monthly kits in our March mystery kits and those of you who do follow me or had seen last video, you may know that now you could buy your mystery kit separately, um, meaning that you could either buy the monthly view kit or the weekly kit. And if you are interested in just weekly kits, it will be listed under our foil weekly kit section in our Etsy shop. And if you're only interested in our monthly kit, it'll be listed under the monthly kit section. This is all foiled. Well, the title's foiled with the weekdays, but it's foiled with lilac foil. And I am loving colored foil. And I'm just spreading out um, the sticker sheets that I'll be using for this March monthly view. And that's it, so let's get started. Obviously, firstly, we are going to build our sidebar here. I like to put my goals at the top, then the smaller one, and then either our checkbox at below. Next step, if we do our blank date boxes and those who are new who just joined us in this video, hello, welcome. My stickers are die cut so that's why there are certain steps that you guys have to take to put them down and especially th that they are die cut, please peel delicately or slowly and each um, die cut will have an anchor point which I just pointed out. It's a corner piece where you could just anchor that corner down and then place down the sticker fully. Just like that so that you know where the placement is in your happy planner or Erin Condren. So same thing on the other side just slowly peel the sticker especially the die cut part as you can see there's a lot of delicate little um, cutouts especially when it's all floral you have your petals and your rosebuds everything. Here I'm just showing you how delicate these little parts are yes. And our last and final step are our title bars up at the March and the 2018th here. And same goes with these. Uh, sometimes I do design them like a die cut, so please peel delicately. And there we go. And this is the base for your monthly view. Once you guys have the base down, you could do anything to your monthly view. You could start with the holidays. You could start with your paydays. You could start with anything. I usually like to do my holidays so that I have the stickers out here already. These holiday, I decided, this kit, I decided to go whimsical because of the butterflies and I just love their wings. So most of these holidays are actually die cut out as you can see here. The butterfly wings are so pretty. I had to take advantage and use it as a die cut. And here's Good Friday. Once my holidays are down, I like to work on events or things that's happening. Um, this month, like duration of events. So firstly, we do have our pre-sale that's going on at the beginning of the month. The first of every month, we do a pre-sale of the next mystery kit. So for April mystery kit, the pre-sale starts obviously on March 1st and it will run to um, sorry, March 11th. I use the washi strip that's in your monthly view kit. And now if you don't use those washi strip, you can always use it for your weekly spread too. So I'm just gonna indicate the sale with the sale sticker here so that I know it's my pre-sale. Another thing that's happening for me in March is March break for my oldest daughter. She just turned five, oh my God and she has a two week March break this year. So I'm just gonna indicate that with a different washi. 
So we are having her birthday party on Sunday, March 4th. So I'm just going to indicate that with some tassels, birthday cake, so on and so forth. Also, my nephew is celebrating his birthday on the 3rd. In fact, my nephew and my daughter was born on the same day of the same year. So my sister-in-law and I were in the hospital on the same day, but two different hospital. So that's why this year we decided to do separate birthdays. We've been doing it together for a while, but now they're a little bit older. They have their own friends that they want to invite to the party. So we're going to do it separately and they're doing it on the Saturday and we decide to do it on the Sunday. And on the 10th, I have a magic show to go watch with my parents. They invited me to go. And I'm pretty excited because the last time I've seen a magic show was like, what, when I was little? But this is an adult version, obviously, with a magician and illusionist. So I can't wait to see, do that with them. And I cannot forget about my hubby. So I'm just indicating our bi-weekly date nights here. I like to add in my garbage and recycling days in my calendar so I could just have a glimpse and look to see what's going out that day. Next, I'm going to do my bill dues. I do have two bills due on um, every other week. I would like to pay off for sure. And obviously you need paydays in order to pay your bills. So just indicating those days that are my paydays. My little ones have a dentist appointment on Tuesday and on Thursday. I have to indicate that with a box flag here. And I think that's it for the month of March. So I'm just going to start inking everything in and I'll be right back. I got this gold foil calligraphy sticker from Rose Color Days and it fits perfectly in here and it says to do for this month. And I got these little character sticker from Joy of Planning. Super adorable. I love her doodles. And I'm going to indicate my daughter's birthday party with a Snow White because that's her favorite princess. And I think I'll use a Cinderella to indicate her dentist appointment. And what I like to do lastly is to put down my Hello March sticker. You can use the sticker anywhere also. You don't have to use it with your monthly view, but I like using it with my monthly view. Same thing, they are die cut. Sometimes they are not, but this one is die cut. So please, please, please be gentle when you pull out the sticker. And I usually look for a, a blank spot, which is only there because there was no sticker there. And I'm just going to place my sticker just like that. Sometimes the monthly kits do come with deco stickers like these here but I feel like it's pretty busy this month for me I'm not going to add any more deco stickers there and that's it I'm just going to put it back into my planner just like that there we go and I'm going to show you guys the Erin Condren view this is my mock-up usually before I cut and print a huge batch of all my mystery kit I do do a test cut which is this and I do test it out in my Erin Condren and in my happy planner yes I do have another happy planner for mock-up so this is the Erin Condren mock-up and that's how it's set up for Erin Condren and that's it my pinkies thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video happy planning bye